In this video, we're going to be taking a look at converting within measurement systems. And you'll need to get out your Go Math book and turn to page 185, get out your math journal and a pencil. Now, the essential question we'll be taking a look at is how do you convert units within a measurement system? Now, we've taken a look at ratios in the previous um, couple of previous lessons, and we're going to apply that a little bit more in lesson 7.3. So let's look, th look at the Explore activity. It says using a model to convert units. It says the two most common systems of measurement are the customary system and the metric system. You can use a model to convert from one unit to another within the same measurement system. So we can see use the model to complete each statement below. So we can see one yard equals three feet. So you can see the yard and three feet here, so you can see how this model works. So two yards equals a total of six feet. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's write that in with me. Three yards we can see equals nine feet. Four yards equals 12 feet. All right, now what we're going to do is rewrite the answer as ratios. So we can see three feet one yard over here equals two yards how many feet what we did is we multiplied the one yard by two so we multiply the three feet by two as well giving us six so we also have three feet one yard equals how many feet how many yards we can see multiply the one yard by three multiply the three feet by three as well giving us nine and then we can also see three yards one sorry three feet one yard you can see the one yard is converted to four yards. So the feet multiply the three by four, giving us 12. Okay, so we can see the answer's ratios as well. Now we can also see here on page 185, it says since one yard equals three feet, the ratio of feet to yards in any measurement is always three to one. This means any ratio form in a proportion with 3 to 1 can represent a ratio of feet to yards. So we see 3 to 1 equals 12 to 4. So 12 feet, we can see here, equals 4 yards. Also, 3 to 1 equals 54 to 18. So we can see 54 feet, fill this in with me, equals 18 yards. So we can also we always know within feet to yards the ratio is three feet to one yard. And we can see the reflect question at the bottom. It says, how could you draw a model to show the relationship between feet and inches? You need to figure out how many inches are in a foot. Okay, so we could a sample answer, you can write this down. It says draw a bar representing one, two, three, and four feet. Above it, draw bars with each foot divided into 12 equal pieces. Why is it 12 equal pieces? Because 12 inches equals a foot. And label the pieces 12, 24, 36, and 48. Kind of like what they did on this model, but not 3, 12 in each section there. So let's turn our books to page 186. At the top we can see converting units using proportions and unit rates. And it says you can use ratios and proportions to convert both customary and metric units. It says use the table below to convert from one unit to another within the same measurement system. So it's not going from you know, customary to metric yet. It's just staying within customary and staying with met metric as well. Now what I would like you to do is read over example one, read through those different steps as so that will help guide you through the your turn section we're going to be looking at in just a little bit. So read through the steps on page 186 and also you can read through the steps on page 187 then stop when you get to the your turn part and we'll take a look at this together. So read through that and then we'll take a look at the your turn section. Okay, so we can see for number two, it says the height of a doorway is two yards. What is the height of the doorway in inches? So first of all, we need to figure out, we can see that one yard equals 36 inches. So we know one yard over 36 inches is going to be our ratio, and then it's asking us the height of the doorway is two yards, so 
what we can do is multiply that one yard by two, giving us two yards. And then since we multiply the one yard by two, we also need to multiply the 36 inches by two. I know if I multiply 36 inches by two, that's going to give me 72 inches. So I can see that the height of the doorway is 2 yards. What is the height of the doorway in inches? So I can see the height of the doorway in inches is 72 inches. You can write that in your Go Math book with me. So once again, the key is understanding the unit rate. Okay, so how many yards, how many inches are in one yard? Okay, so one yard equals 36 inches. Knowing that ratio, I can find out how many inches are in two yards as well. Okay, let's take a look at page 187 now. It says converting units by using conversion factors. It says another way to convert measurements is by using a conversion factor. A conversion factor is a ratio comparing two equivalent measurements. Example 2 will show you a conversion factor here. So it says... Elena wants to buy two gallons of milk, but can only find quart containers for sale. How many quarts does she need? So we can see the conversion factor. So I know that four quarts equals one gallon. We're going to write that as a ratio. So four quarts to one gallon. And since they're asking us that Elena wants to buy two gallons, how many quarts will she need? So we can see multiply the given measurement by the conversion factor. Why is it conversion factor? Remember, conversion factor is a ratio comparing two equivalent measurements. So we have gallons and gallons here. So we're going to multiply two gallons by the ratio of four quarts to one gallon. All right, so the gallons can cancel each other out. So essentially what we're doing here is we're multiplying that 2 by the 4 quarts. Why the 4 quarts? Because 4 quarts is in 1 gallon. All right, so we can see 2 gallons, 2 times 4 then is going to give us 8. So we can cancel out, like I said, cancel out the common unit. We cancel out the gallons for 2 gallons and the 1 gallon. So 2 times 4 equals 8 quarts. And we can see the answer is Elena needs 8 quarts of milk. Okay, let's take a look at number 3 together. It says an oak tree is planted when it is 250 centimeters tall. What is the height in meters? Okay, so first of all, we can take a look at the previous page with all the conversions on it. And we know that 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. So 1 meter to 100 centimeters. Now we need to think about what is happening to that 100 to get it to 250 all right and I know that that 100 centimeters is being multiplied by 2.5 so I have 2.5 centimeters I'm multiplying that 100 meters by now I can cancel out the common unit Okay, so now I can multiply 2.5 centimeters, or I'm sorry, 2.5 by 1. It's going to give me 2.5 meters. And then I can multiply 2.5 times 100. It's going to give me 250 centimeters. So I can answer the question, what is the height in meters? It's 2.5 meters, because I can see the ratio 2.5 meters to 250 centimeters. Now let's take a look at the guided practice section, and I would like you to take a look at number three, and you can work on this problem all by yourself, and you can work on that now. Okay, for number three, you can see the answer is 32 cups. And I would like you to take a look at number 8, and you work on that problem all by yourself, and you can work on that now. Now you can see the answer for number 8 is 2.7 centimeters. So let's take a look at the essential question to wrap up the video. It says, how do you convert units with a measurement system? Sample answer, you can use a model, proportion, or a conversion factor, as you saw within the video today. 
So this completes the video on converting within measurement systems. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.